Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Google Slides and Google Sheets to create a certificate and then customize it for a list of students all at once. Let's go ahead and get started here in Google Slides. We'll use the certificate template and I'll just customize it quickly. I'm going to call this one our certificate for perfect attendance. So let's call it perfect attendance. And now I'll change it. And I'll say that uh, this certifies that you achieved perfect attendance. Now, I'm going to change this part that says student name. I'm going to use some conditional tags. I'm going to say first name. And why I use those tags and just first name will be shown in the next part of this video. And I can change out the rest of this and say keep up the great work and I'll put in my school name and I'll change out this part And we'll put it in for so my certificates all set up. I have my uh, my certificate as I like it. My, I've named it the exact same name that I would want to use if I was going to give it out to kids, if I was going to email to kids, it's the perfect attendance certificate. So now I can close that out. Now I'm going into a spreadsheet that I've called the same thing, perfect attendance certificate, and I have a list of student first names who have achieved perfect attendance. Now we're going to use an add-on for Google Sheets called Autocrat. Let's go ahead and we're going to open that. We're going to run it and make sure my account is approved or connected, I should say. We're going to allow it to run. And now we're going to set up the process so that we have certificates available with the students' names on them. So we're going to create a new job. We'll call it perfect attendance. Now let's pick a template and we're going to pick it from Google Drive. And it's going to be my perfect attendance certificate, which is right there. And you'll see it said there fetching tags from template. Those tags are the things we put in between uh, the things that are listed as first name between those brackets. So now Let's go ahead and click next. And we're going to use sheet one, which matches up to this. And we're going to have first name. Okay. And that maps to first name. And it's header row one. First data is in row two. Okay. So it's all matched up. Let's click next. All right. And I'm just going to say completed perfect attendance as the file name. 
It's going to be Google Slides. And we're going to have multiple output. Let's click Next. I want to put it in my drive. So I'm going to have it go into my drive within a folder in my drive. Otherwise, it will just fill up as random things in there. Okay. So I'll put it into one of my many, many folders that I have in here. Let's just put it into my test folder. I have many test folders. Uh, let's go in here and put it into my test folder. And click Next. Okay. I'm not going to share it and send emails because I don't have any emails listed in my spreadsheet. And I don't want to share the template with students. I want to be able to have copies that I can print out. And so we've now saved our perfect attendance job. And in the next screen, we'll run it. So here we are, and we're ready to run the job. And we'll see that the sequence has started and we only have nine names in this spreadsheet so the job shouldn't take too long to finish and then we can check in Google Drive for our certificates that have been customized for each person. Alright so now our job has finished running and we'll see in the background here the spreadsheet has changed a little bit and we can go to the direct copy. And we can see there it now matches up. This one certifies that you achieve perfect attendance. And it has Bob's name on it. We can go down here for this one to click on Mason. And we'll see Mason's perfect attendance as well. I can also go into my Google Drive and find that folder that I put them all into when I specified the folder uh, destination in Autocrat. And there they all are, completed perfect attendance. And I can open those up and see what those look like. There's the one for Emma. So that's how you can create a certificate and automatically customize them by using AutoCrap in Google Sheets. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com and practicaledtech.com.